Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick Kyogre Kawai and we are doing something a little bit different here on the channel today. We, it's actually a tournament that I entered um, hosted by HPT, the Honest Pokemon Trainer. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick Kyogre Kawai. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new. We are doing something uh, a little bit different. We're doing a short little tournament here, VGC style tournament. Not a draft league, nothing like that. We just, uh, everybody picks a team, you know, VGC rules. We're doing best of three matches. Uh, I think there's eight people uh, in the tournament. I don't know exactly how many people are in it, to be honest. Um, but this is my first uh match against dippy dunker so i'm excited to do that uh we're gonna get connected here and uh, as i do so i'm gonna talk a little bit more here about how this works um setting my link code eight five four six but uh, yeah so again it's single elimination so what me and dippy dunker are about to do is we're going to battle each other three times we have a team of six pokemon but we are only allowed to bring four each each battle, but we can switch up which four we bring ever in between in between, basically. So and then whoever wins the set of three matches, it's best of three, that person advances to the next round of the tournament. But this tournament is called the uh VGC Toilet Roll Bonanza, again hosted by HPT, the honest Pokemon trainer. Um so I'm really, really excited for this. Just kind of a fun little thing to do, um, you know, with not a lot of pressure. I put a lot of pressure on myself with like draft league for some reason. Like I, I always want to win. So I'm just kind of having fun, um, having fun doing something a little bit just for fun, for funsies. <laughs> uh, so we have to, I guess, pick the rules. Um, shoot. All right, we're connected. He has Arcanine and um, Rotom Wash and Venusaur, Dragapult. So... Double check my moves. Conkador with... Thunder Punch is really good. Uncle Dare is really not that great, actually. I'm going to lead Alchemy Incineroar with... Hmm. Do I put... Do I bring Togekiss in the back? Or do I bring Conkle Dare? I'll start with Togekiss. We'll see, because this is best of three, so I can make adjustments if um, if things don't work out here. But good luck to my opponent. Uh, hopefully we have a fair and clean match. All right, let's see who he leads with. Let's have a bag of chips chilling in the background of the video. Mimikyu Dragapult. Alchemy Incineroar is a fantastic lead. Um, Intimidate. Mm. So what do we think he's going to do? Um, I could just file off, fire off a Dazzling Gleam. And then, oh, the music is probably super laggy right now. Um, can't use Fake Out on either of them. I'm going to use Parting Shot on Dragapult. <clears throat> he Dynamaxes. Dynamaxes. He could go for Max Ghost on Alchemy, which might do a lot of damage. But we're going to find out, mate. Actually, we're not going to find out if this thing is physical or special. 
Um, that's probably kind of loud with the game sounds. Max Ghost into Alchemy does over half, which is pretty bad, but the parting shot is going to help us. Um, if this thing's weakness policy, Dragapult, that'll be pretty bad. There's the Swords Dance. Eek, eek. This thing's this is pretty scary. Dazzling Gleam does a nice chunk to Dragapult. Ah, it's weakness policy. That's pretty, pretty scary. Um... I don't know who we go into. Maybe Lapras. Togekiss is fast. I think we just I think we just go to Lapras. He might try to take out La um Could go for Decorate or Fake Tears. I'm actually just going to try to protect Alchemy. And go for the Resonance on Dragapult. I don't know if that's a good play or not. Dragapult is very scary. Okay. Uh, Max Phantasm. Doesn't do that much to Lapras, actually. Wow, Lapras is so bulky! Holy moly. Sorry if anything's weird with the game audio. I was kind of messing with things in the background here. Uh, Play Rough, though, does way too much. That does way too much. Ah, that does way too much. And he lived that! How did he live that? That's pretty annoying. Hmm. Let's check it. He's plus one. Um, plus one in special attack. I don't expect a double target into Lapras, but now I have Renaissance up, so I guess maybe it is possible there's a double target. I'm going to try to make a prediction here. It might fail. It might work. Yep, that was a bad. That was a bad prediction. That was bad. Lowers my defense. Gosh, his Mimikyu is so fast. Um, can't fake out. I'm going to save fake out. Um, they're playing very well. Not playing so great. Um... Hmm, I can go for the follow me. P try to save Lapras. Try to set up the rain. Oh 
I'm going to save you, Lapras. Acrobatics. Okay. Play rough. Miss. Miss. Togekiss lives. Max Geyser. Geyser. He has Rotom Wash in the back. That's kind of bad. We still have the, the Renaissance. It's up. Corvic Knight. Uh, that is pretty bad. That is pretty bad. Um... I feel like... Yeah, I'm going to protect Lapras. And go for... Play rough into the protect. I think I'm faster. I... Th Okay, good. Togekiss is faster than Corviknight. But it doesn't knock out Mimikyu. Iron Head. Uh, okay. And now I'm in the rain. Not a good... Not a good... <laughs> this is not good at all. Okay, um... Come on, Lapras. Take out. Take out the Corve. Play rough, connects. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty much pretty much over for me now. Uh, yeah. Can't really do anything at this point. Um. Hmm. Definitely gotta switch up my game plan here. Play rough almost knocks me out with the crit. Oof. Body press. Oh, the body press on Corbinet. All right. So we got kind of blown back there. <laughs> I'm not a VGC expert by any means. I won't claim to be one. Um, so we're gonna uh, gonna have to rethink our strategy here about what uh, what I think he's gonna do because. Yeah, we'll take a lead card. So. Game two, round two. No, this is this is what we're doing. These are the rules we're doing. It's just, what do I think I want to do? Corvic Knight, the Corvic Knight, and the Max Phantasm. Okay. Hmm. I actually going to lead these two. And then... 
I'm gonna put these two in the back. All right, let's see if this works any differently. I kinda wanna take out his Dynamax turn one. If he plans on Swords Dancing again in my face, I'm kind of okay with that. With my game plan here for game two is gonna be trying to use Lapras and Alchemy from the jump. Corving Knight and Mimikyu, okay. Um, okay. So I can go for If I go for I'm actually going to make a switch into Incineroar to get the intent. I could predict the body press and go for it. All right, we're just going to we're going to decorate and go for Renaissance on Corviknight. <clears throat> oh, he actually is Dynamaxing Corviknight. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, he's probably going to take out Alchemy here. Shoot. <laughs> this is not going so great for me. I'm going to be knocked out of this tournament the first round, but it's okay. I was just I did this just for fun. Uh, I'm not like I said, I'm not an expert at VGC. So if I lose, I'm not going to feel that bad because I'm having fun. This is definitely like a fun little tournament to do. And my opponent, man, my opponent has brought a scary team. This makes me want to get better at VGC and practice more. I've been doing so much draft league stuff and it's, it's a lot different because um, I don't really know the team I'm using as well as I probably should. So Mimikyu Swords Dance is in my face again. Freaking Mimikyu. I get a decorate. Who's faster, me or Corviknight? Corviknight's faster. Max Steel Spike. That's probably goodbye to Alchemy. Oh, Focus Sash Alchemy. Okay. The defense boost is annoying. That is enough to two hit KO though. So with the Aurora Veil plus Intimidate, I kind of want to save. I'm gonna try to break the disguise on Mimikyu. Get the Intimidate off. Oh, I'm I'm silly. I'm silly goose. I forgot about the mirror armor. And I have a Corviknight on my draft league team. I know how, but it does lower the Mimikyu's attack, which is pretty cool. So that does a lot less because of the Intimidate. So that's actually good. It is Life Orb. Uh, Max Knuckle though. Wow. Okay. Into Lapras. So boosting the attack there um, of both of them. Renaissance. I just want to break the disguise on Mimikyu because it's super annoying. We're going to use Parting Shot on Mimikyu.
and then we're gonna get rid of the Mimikyu. This may seem weird, but I'm doing it. That does a lot to Lapras. Gosh, that thing is such a powerful Pokemon. And then Max Steel Spike, also into Lapras. No good. We live though. That boosted Corviknight is scary though. Um, dang, I went for the wrong play. I didn't know. Like, I, I need to like know these things about this team better, but. The Incineroar is slower than Lapras, so this parting shot does nothing for me besides give me a free switch. All right, well I get a I get a free switch, so not ideal. But it'll work. Um I have Conkildur in the back now. I don't know if I can win. I don't think I can win this. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Rotom. That's not ideal. Now we're small form. Small form. Um. Thunder Punch on Corviknight probably won't save me. We do have Freeze Dry, but that Rotom's going to just KO me. Yeah, there's just the Thunderbolt into Lapras. Brave Bird, and that's probably going to Oko Conkildur. Yeah, it definitely is. Nope, not enough, but it's okay. Conkildur is strong, but not that strong against Corviknight. Corviknight has a really good matchup against it. We do take it out, which is cool. Cool, but it's Life Orb. Yeah, it loses some HP there. Um, and there's the Dragapult, yeah. Incineroar is pretty cool here, but... We still have our Aurora Veil up for some turns, so maybe So what is he gonna do here? He is probably he's I think faster with both mons, so I feel like he attacks Conkildur with Dragapult, and then he just goes for a hydro pump into Incineroar. So maybe if I detect and go for throat chop. I don't know. I don't know, this might work, this might not work. Dragon darts, okay. It is physical, so the Intimidate helps me. He doubled into it. I got predicted so bad. <laughs> we live, but not by much. Throat chop. Not even enough to KO Dragapult. Are you kidding me? And I give it its weakest fossil. Yeah, it's GG. I lost, but it was fun. <laughs> uh, this was so bad. I need to get I need to get better at uh, VGC. Cause I am really bad. Really, really bad at it. <laughs> Mach Punch does a lot. Dragon, oh, Phantom Force. Okay. Hydro Pump secures the KO. Dang. Alright, one HP in a dream.
That's not really gonna save me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he went into the conical door with the Phantom Force. Yeah, either way, I couldn't really have done anything about that. GG, Thunderbolt into uh, Alchemy. Doesn't matter what I click here, Dazzling Gleam. And GG to my opponent, Dippy Dunker, man. They, they are a good team build. I don't know if they built this team or what, but they, uh, they have a really good team, and they used it really well, and uh, it was a fun series. And I look forward to do more VGC stuff. I, I'm trying to get into it more, a little bit better, get some more practice. I haven't really built many uh, VGC teams, but it was fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was a fun battle. Thank you so much for the match matches. Uh, again, this is going up on my channel, so uh, I'm excited for everybody in the tournament to be able to watch the battle between us. Uh, but thank you again to my opponent. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the like button and subscribe if you guys are new. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.